Here's why you need a large format 3D scanner. If you're doing automotive work, for example, and you need to make a part that fits, like this bracket here, 3D scanning can be a great way to get an accurate reference model of what you're trying to make, making it super simple to design what you need. If you want to replicate or digitalize larger objects like this 1920s Nash engine, that's now possible too. Well, it's already been possible, but only if you have several thousands of dollars to spare. Now you can get started for less than 400. Let's take a look. The scanner I've got here today is the Lynx 3D Scanner from 3D Maker Pro, the company behind the previous Mole and Whale 3D Scanners. The Lynx is advertised as a large format 3D scanner with an accuracy of 0.1 millimeters and a resolution of 0.3. It's been marketed as being ideal for 100 to 2000 millimeter objects, but can also scan objects up to 5000 millimeters cubed. So we'll have to test that in the future. So here are three quick fire reasons why 3D scanning is an awesome technology to get started in. It can drastically cut down in prototyping time. For example, you can scan part of an engine bay and then use CAD software to design the part you need using the scan material as reference. You can scan the entire object you want, making it super straightforward to reverse engineer the part for a perfect digital model for editing or 3D printing. Or you can skip the CAD part entirely, which for beginners is quite nice. It's also great for preserving models by digitalizing them. For example, Corridor Crew did this with Cerro Gordo, a ghost town, to preserve it forever. Let's go over these use cases one by one to test the scanner's capabilities and mine. As you can see on the engine, we've got this little bracket there. So what I'm gonna be doing is scanning this area and then using the scan to design the bracket. So let's get to work. A quick disclaimer, I did pay for this scanner with my own money. However, I am part of 3D Maker Pro's affiliate system. So if you would like to purchase one of these scanners, please use the link and code in the description if there is one, as it helps the channel out immensely. As you can see here, all three scans have been successfully aligned. So we're going to merge them now and hopefully we get a really nice result that we can use that is dimensionally accurate for uh, CAD modeling. With the assistance of a couple washers, the part fit perfectly and fulfilled its intended purpose. I am planning to remake this part in the future using engineering plastics to see how they perform in this scenario. Now it was time to move on to a part that had a rather organic look to it, so it was going to be a bit hard to 3D model, so instead we'll be 3D scanning the whole thing in one go. As you can see, I've sprayed a bit of dry shampoo on the engine and I've got it well lit up with my studio lights that I've placed around the area. So we are currently scanning it, gonna get a couple of scans from each angle and then we're gonna merge them together in the software and hopefully we can uh, get a good result because this isn't a super dark object, it's pretty matte. For those interested in a more behind the scenes, sort of in-depth look at my setup, I've got power cables over there, hooked up to my lights to make sure everything is lit up. Then I've got a rolling desk hooked up with a laptop and the scanner. You can actually get a four meter cable, which I think would be a lot better for larger objects. I've got a mouse in case I need to um, access things wirelessly when I'm scanning far away. I've got my object and I've got the software open. The software is actually pretty decent. Obviously it's not perfect, has some flaws, Auto align feature works quite well and uh, everything else does too. So this is gonna take a while to process. That's the other side. This is just a, a basic M1 MacBook Air. Processing time does take a little bit, but it does pay off in the end. We got three successful uh, aligned, aligned scans. So we're gonna process those and then we're gonna see the final result.
So far, my experiences with the scanner have been pretty good. The price has been all right, although still at a premium for some users, and it does deliver its performance. However, you do get what you pay for, so this scanner will not be able to scan super black parts or reflective or translucent parts like that. But for matte surfaces with a bit of texture, or like gray surfaces, and even colored ones, it performs really well, as you can see by these scans here. So it really depends on your use case if this is the scanner for you or for someone else.